I always wake up and try to ask myself a question. Do I want to be happy today or do I want to be unhappy? And there's only one answer. Why would you want to be unhappy? When I met Morgan, I remember being bombarded with all types of stories from his childhood about how he always knew that his dream was to be a professional golfer. We certainly exposed Morgan to golf at an early age, and uh, he took to it. He clearly showed uh, a desire to become a PGA Tour player early on and that was his goal. This is the Walker Cup picture here with Morgan and Ricky and Peter Uline when, when they dominated the Walker Cup match uh, in 2009 at Marion. Yeah, one more. Yeah. Yeah. He hit the first shot in the first day in the first match and my heart was pounding in my chest. The following year, this is Morgan's first US Open at uh, Pebble Beach. Him slow putt should turn right at the cup. I woke up one morning and thought it was like some kind of worms or animal <laughs> eating my, my, my muscle away, and which is a ridic ridiculous thought, but I spent six years going to a million doctors all over the country and, and trying to figure out what I had. When the doctor brought up the idea that it could have possibly been muscular dystrophy, I was like, this guy's an idiot. You know, there's no chance I have muscular dystrophy. I had no history of it. The doctor said, you have muscular dystrophy. Just call me back and let me know whenever life starts getting very difficult. If you become disabled to the point that you need to seek any type of medical device assistance, let me know. That was basically the, the comment that his doctor gave. Look over this direction there. Watch it, guys. There it is. He changed his dream so quick. He didn't really spend a lot of time thinking about it. He just instantly kind of realized that, hey, maybe everything in my life up to this point has been leading to my ability to have this platform. I knew it was for a reason. I knew that I could help a lot of people from this. And going forward, I wanted to make a change. And in people's lives and I thought I, I could with this platform of being on the PGA Tour and I wanted to start a foundation. I didn't know exactly what it was at the time. I'm very excited to go against you, sir. I'm so incredibly proud about how he has used his platform to raise awareness and, you know, create this pro-am and try to create a cure. Morgan's not the type of guy that's going to sit around and sulk about it. He's going to go out and try to do something and get better and help other people, which he uh, is, is clearly doing. I reached out to him straight away and I said, I just, I think the story's incredible. I think that the attitude towards your circumstances is incredible and, um, you know, he, he's done a great job, you know, in the last year and a half raising awareness. It's fantastic. I mean, this is what golf's about. It, it creates friendships for life, and it honestly creates life, you know, and helps keep life going. That's what I love about the game of golf. It just brings everybody together in, in a unique and uh, great way. It's insane. Like, the, the, the people have showed up and shown support and shown love, and it's, it's just, it feels like family to me. And it's really incredible, the, the amount of money we're raising and, and the people that support my dream in this. in the shadow of a life-changing diagnosis, most people, probably myself included, would find a way to shrink back from life or withdraw. Morgan did not do that. He wanted to turn it around to make it something positive for other people. And the gallery is with him. He is uniquely positive and set up well for, for handling this disease. I'm very proud of him for that. I don't know if he ever really reached a point where he felt very sad. I think he, his turnaround was pretty quick, that he just immediately felt this 
uh, mission that he, he was going to find a cure, he, he never thought that there was no cure. He still doesn't believe that there's no cure. This isn't about helping me get better. I'm only one person. There's, there's millions of others that are really you know, dying and, and we, can, we can help that, I think, and I believe, so that's my dream.